Today, we're meeting a team who have more YouTube subscribers than half the Premier League, despite playing in the 8th division. And now they're starting to make waves in the world of football shirts. Hello and welcome to Behind the Chevrons, the show which digs deeper into the world of Hummel. My name is Phil and I'll be your host today. And today, if you hadn't already guessed from the intro, we're talking about Hashtag United. And joining me is one of the co-founders of Hashtag Seb. So Seb, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, mate. Great to be here. Thank you for coming. Now, obviously, many of you will know who Hashtag are, but for those who don't, who are Hashtag United and what's your role at Hashtag? Well, so it's a very interesting one to explain, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and I never know if I've ever quite got it right, because we're a quite <laughs> unique type club. But yeah. effectively, yeah. we're um, started by a group of friends, myself, right. my brother Spencer, and our friends that we used to play football with at school. But the, the difference being that Spencer at the time, yep. and it's obviously still now, has a big YouTube following. So we were yeah. filming our matches and putting them on YouTube. Yeah. And the, I guess the most unique thing is that the, the launch vehicle we created for the team to begin with, which mm -hmm. was like a, a computer game inspired right. football pyramid that we took part in, where we created different sort of storylines for the team, but still made it all around real 90 minute official yeah. Yeah. FA refereed games that yeah, took yeah. us on all sorts of adventures all around the world. Yeah. Got some amazing opportunities because of the number of people watching the videos. Yeah. And then evolved eventually after a number of years into being a real life non-league football team yeah. of our own, a, a ground share, a stadium that yeah. we use, a big yeah. production team. Now a women's team, junior yep. teams, yep. an esports team. Uh, but basically what we are right now is a um, non-league football team that we just mm. film everything and put it online. Yeah. That's amazing. I'd love to hear just a few highlights. I'm sure you've got many, but just mm. over your time, anything that stands out from your, your history? Oh, we've done so many cool things. I mean, yeah. a tour to America was great yeah. with Coca-Cola going over there, amazing. playing in some amazing American locations. Yeah. Uh, the Wembley Cup, playing yes, at Wembley. Of course, of course. Um, those sort of moments, the Academy Series through to joining non-league, winning our first division title in that, mm. launching the women's team. Yep. Obviously, some of the esports success we've had over the years, there really is yeah. Sort of so many. And obviously we're here to talk about shirts. Yeah. Just throughout Hashtag's history, what are some of your favourite shirts that you've had? What, what are some of those? <sighs> well, obviously the, the current shirts. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, of course, but of no, course. genuinely, we've messed around with the yellow and blue. Yep. So some years we've gone more yellow than blue. Some uh -huh. years we've gone more blue than yellow. Yeah. I love blue. So I <laughs> tend to, tend to favour the predominantly blue shirts yeah. as we've got this year. But what we've been able to do, and this year has been fantastic, is mm -hmm. that's been our core colour, yep. the yellow and blue. Mm -hmm. Uh, and for the eSports kit, and mm. we, what's often been our away kit, but not anymore, is yep. the purple and black. So yes. they're the colours that we've sort of always had with us. Yeah, nice. And then nice. this year in the away kit, when we were talking to the guys at Hummel and the design team, Rob yep. and his team, we basically said to them, look, we can do whatever we want with the away kit, because nice. let's do just something different. Yeah, yeah, so that's yeah. where we come up with the black and white, but it has yeah. that hint of yellow and blue yep. in there yeah, still. Yeah, it does. Uh, but that's been quite fun, and we've sort of got a strategy that we're going to roll with for now anyway, which great, is great. where we have our traditional colours, yep. but then in one of the kits every year, we just go off piece. Amazing. And we just do something Love different. That. Love so that. that's one of the best things about having a modern or a new club. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of the things we often um, get, we don't get much stick, but if we get uh -huh. stick, it's because we haven't got much history. Right? But you only <laughs> have to, that's history it. takes time. Yeah, right? absolutely. So we're writing yeah. our history right now. Yeah, and we're writing so. our future history, yeah. as, as Spencer calls it. Yeah, and nice. um, we're creating that history. And it's yeah. great that we've got this audience to watch us online yeah. and we can interact with them and ask them how they want to see things yeah. pan out of the club. And kits yeah. is one where we can do that. So we're having Definitely. some fun playing around with it. Yeah, and just quickly on the blue and yellow, what's mm. the story behind that? We were talking to our first kit provider yep. and we were thinking, right, how do we stand out? Yeah. Now, one of the options we considered was claret and blue because okay. me and my brother and all our family are big West Ham fans. Nice, yeah. But we thought that's a little bit too... Bit too obvious. Bit too obvious, yeah, you know. Yeah. So let's do something. So we were yeah. literally looking through their stock kits <laughs> and we thought, what's going to make us stand out a bit? Right, right. And we just thought, who has like yellow and blue kits? Yeah. And there aren't many, no, right? no, there's obviously no. some, yeah, but there yeah. aren't many. So we thought, let's go with yellow and blue. It stands yeah. out, it was different. So actually, we've got the current home shirt. Let's get on the table yes. and talk about that now. Let's do it. So I'm sure many of you guys will know this. This is, of course, the current home shirt. Again, Seb, just talk to you about the kind of process of designing this. So this was the first one with Hummel. Yes. How was it, how was it kind of designing this? So we went in and sort of sat with everyone, had loads of talks, looked at some of our previous kits, and we wanted to go to a, a predominantly blue with the yellow on the yep. side. Yeah. Uh, very similar to our original kit with the, with the flipped colours. Yes. The one best thing about our partnership with Hummel is we've been able to design all of our kits completely bespoke. Nice. So nice. everything is completely unique to our club. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. we've got some of the uh, iconic things within Hummel, like the chevrons, etc. Sure. But sure. I mean, you can see in the background here, it's like the hashtag lettering, great. Uh, hashtag great. sort of detail, yeah. and 
you know, the guys presented us with dozens and dozens of versions of right. every single kit, the home, the away, the eSports yep, kit. Yep. And every single one we've looked at, we're like, oh, we love this, we love that. <laughs> we Some of that, the yeah. first ones, we said, oh, we love that one. Let's do that one next year. Let's keep that one back for next year. Um, but but this, this one here, we wanted to keep it fairly classic. Yeah. Obviously, this particular kit's got a very unique story and that we've had two yeah. different sponsors. Yeah, let's talk about that. So for anyone who doesn't know, and we'll talk about this. The the sponsor, if I'm not saying, was a QR code yes. initially. So what was the what was the story behind that? So basically, our partner UFL, which is a soon to be launched new football computer game. Yep. We were announcing the kit a little bit before they were announcing that they even existed. Right. So right. we had a really great idea to do a bit of a teaser. Yeah. And we put a QR code which linked back to a website we custom created with nice. some clues. Yeah. And the yep. clues were all linked to the partner. Yeah. So. Um, few people out there to do a bit of detective work over a number of weeks. Yeah. And when we eventually announced and we changed it from, I think we were the first team ever yeah. to have a QR code as the main front of shirt sponsor. Yeah, There's yeah. been kits that have had QR codes on them, yes. but no one has had it as, as actually the main sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some have done it since, yeah. Um, yeah. but we were the first to do that. And we love nice. that because we are hashtag United, the symbolic yep. of a team that comes from the internet. We're an online yep. team. Most of our fan base is online. Yep. Yep. And if someone was going to do that, we wanted to be the first people to do that. Yep. So there was a bit Brilliant. of a, a metaphor for sort of what we what we stand for and trying to do things differently. Yeah. Um, but now, obviously, we've unveiled the main sponsor, which is on all of the all of the men's kits now. Yep. We've got Fridays on the women's kit. Yes. And yep. uh, Luke Aid on the esports kit. Amazing. And it, it's just a really good looking shirt. Yeah, Seb. I mean, this reminds me, you know, like Wimbledon when they had Hummel in the nineties. Mm. Mm. There's quite a traditional feel to it. You mentioned about you know wanting to have a shirt that actually had a you know had a bit of history to it. It yep. looked like a, just a good football shirt, and I think this is great. Any other details in the yes. shirt? Yes. So we go onto the back. Yeah. So we've had a bit of a tradition okay. of on the back of our shirt having don't forget to hashtag it. Okay. But as nice, we nice. turned into non-league, we found a lot of our supporters have. Still say that, but yep. uh, one of the big sayings that's really caught on is up the tags. Nice. So we thought, why don't we, new partnership, new kit yep. range with Hummel, yep. let's bring that into the back. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so you've got the up the tags here, which we designed with the guys with the little up arrow in the middle nice. of the H. Nice. But also that little Easter egg I mentioned earlier, the S there is a five, is, there which is. symbolizes not only yep. the fifth year of the club, but also that our partnership with Hummel was a five year relationship, which is massive for us because. That's huge. The guys at Hummel sort of buying into the vision mm. of what we have of a club and giving us that long-term commitment. Yeah. And let's make no mistake about it, for a small club like ours, that level of commitment and the support we get from Hummel yeah. is invaluable to so allowing awesome. us to plan and grow out our uh, content offering, grow yeah. out the club, grow yeah, out the yeah. youth team as we've done, grow out the women's yeah. team that we've done. It's not possible without the support of our partners. So That's it's amazing. Awesome. And, and for someone like me who's kind of interested in shirts, I noticed this partnership when it was announced mm. and it got me really excited. Have you seen a kind of uptake in people maybe through the the partnership noticing you a bit more or saying oh that's a great kit yeah the, the the initial response was massive like nice. people love hummel kits yeah, like, it's yeah, like a bit yeah. of a cult following yeah it does, and we knew it does. that but we didn't maybe understand just how much that yeah, was yeah, yeah. until we announced the partnership <laughs> you look at the comments on that initial video and the social media yeah. posts, it's like love this cult this great, it's yeah. awesome it's been, it's been fantastic that's great and of course you said it's the start of the journey mm. I mean, it's obviously five years, there's a lot to play with, but what, what are your hopes and dreams for the partnership? You know what, we just want to keep going. You know, nice. we, we want to keep going. Like one of the things, when we initially had that very first conversation with the mm. team at Hummel, we learned a little bit more about the Bumblebee story. Great. And we learned yeah, a bit yeah. more about how that, what that stands for and about mm. how it's, uh, it's something that's able to fight and to achieve things beyond what should be possible. Yeah. And we sort of feel like we share a lot of those values yeah, of hashtag here. We're a team that. that started from YouTube, yep. Yep. you know, bunch of jokers, you know, messing <laughs> around. And now we've been able to build yeah. this real life football team that's that, awesome. you know, we have over 500 players now from yeah. age three upwards, boys and girls, yeah. um, doing some, you know, some, some, some amazing things. That's great. That's so great. We, we found that really, uh, really quite meaningful. The next big thing for us probably is to try and get our own actual stadium. We ground right. share different locations now. Sure. We've got sure. one location for training, the women's team, the youth team, the men's team. We've yep. got an office in a different location. One day we'd love to be able to have our own home where we could bring nice. everybody under under one banner and really feel like a that would be when we really yeah. feel like we become a real, real club. So that's, that's a big great. thing we want to do in the future. Great. But great. we're trying our best to be as sustainable as we can. We're trying to great. be a club that lives within our means. We're very, very um, lucky that because of sort of mm. the traction we get online, yep. we're able to attract people to come and play for us mm. and offer a really great experience when you play for Hashtag United. Yeah, you know, a lot yeah. of people watching your videos every week, That's watching your, your games. Yeah, yeah. But we try very carefully to make sure that we are building not just for the next couple of years, yeah. but for the next 50 years. We really want to, that's our main focus really, is to, um, 
to be to keep this story going for as long as yeah. we possibly can. That's brilliant. I mean, I can say so. Looking from the outside in, I'm really impressed. It's great. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. And in terms of shirts as well, if yeah. you could have, I'm just curious. Mm. Bit of a funny question, but anything you could have on a shirt. Hashtag, you know, hashtag, future hashtag United shirt, what would you have? Well, without giving any spoilers away, we've had some okay. interesting chats with the okay. design team about yeah. some things we could do very differently in the future. Great. Uh, really trying to play up to the uniqueness of our club and how we interact with our fans. So mm. there's a number of things we've got in the pipeline there, but I've honestly loved mm -hmm. how unique some of the offerings or some of the launches have been mm. with some of Humble's other partner clubs. Great. Like clearly there is a lot of, I mean, you definitely can see that when you go yeah. and talk to the guys there's a lot of appetite to try new things, yeah, to try yeah. things different. Yeah. So it's amazing to see a, a brand that's operating so well at both ends, having such great history and yep. traditional, yep. but then also looking to break new barriers. Look at the, some of the shirts that the guys have brought out recently. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, brilliant. So Seb, thanks so much for coming in. It's been great to chat. Absolute pleasure, mate. Thank you. And guys, that'll do it for this latest episode of Behind the Chevrons. Be sure to check out our previous episodes and look forward to many more episodes in the coming months. But until then, take care and we'll see you soon.